Northern Iceland is home to whale watching, old turf churches, thundering waterfalls, the Arctic Circle, the oldest church in Iceland, a whale museum, the Arctic Henge, puffins, and the most incredible basalt columns. Let's leave the crowds in South Iceland and head to off the beaten path locations in the north. Kalfshammersvik Lighthouse and Basalt Columns are located in northern Iceland, 35 kilometers north of the Ring Road on Road 74. Kelf Shammersvik Lighthouse was built in 1913, but rebuilt in 1939. This place is off the beaten path and has some of the most unusual and incredible basalt columns in all of Iceland. You can find these columns to be horizontal as well as vertical. These are wet and extremely slick, so we're using a caution. This would be so much fun to explore when it's dry. We spent about an hour exploring the area before heading off to our next location. Got some sheep over here. Hi, sheepies. <laughs> Goodbye, horses. This beautiful turf church is a quick stop off of the Ring Road. It is one of the oldest churches in Iceland. This is such a pretty church. And it dates from 1834, but there's always been a church here since the 12th century. There's a beautiful graveyard outside the church, and most of the graves date back to the 1800s. There's even a little window up here. Wow. You can go inside the church, but when we were there, it was closed. So we just peeked in the windows. The solid is laid in a herringbone pattern. Very interesting. If you're driving the ring road, this lovely church is worth a stop. Evening, we arrived at the small village of Rofferhofen, and outside of our hotel, we got our first view of the hench just beyond the horses. Welcome to the Arctic Hench. We are in the far northeast corner of Iceland, and this uh, has been recently put together um, off of some, some old history with the, the Norse religion, um, and it is not quite finished, so they have some more to do, but it's just amazing. These arches are so unique, and we've just had such a fun time here today. The idea for this came from a man named Hawker Halderson, and he created it based on Norse mythology. Construction began in 1996, and it's not completed yet. 
The center column stands 10 meters high and it is formed by four pillars built from basalt rocks. Four large arches, each six meters high, surround the center column representing the four seasons. These gateways are at the cardinal points, just like on a compass. The Arctic Henge is a huge sundial that can capture the sun's rays through the alignment of light through its gates. On the summer solstice, the midnight sun can be seen from the south gate through the middle column and north gate. This photo was in our hotel. It was taken during the summer solstice. And this photo, also in our hotel, was taken from the winter solstice. There's a rainbow in the sky. Rainbows are God's promise that He will never flood the world again. When this project is finished, there will be a stone wall between the gates, a ring of 68 stones representing dwarves, and also some cool photo spots. The following day was sunny and beautiful, so we stopped back by for a few more pictures before heading out. After arriving in Husevik, we took a whale watching boat tour. If I had to do it over again, I would take a small rib boat tour. On this boat, we stood for three hours and couldn't get a good view because of so many people um, blocking the way. With a small rib boat tour, you would be sitting down the whole time and they zip right up to the whales. So we are in the Whale Museum that's in Husevik. Right here we have a, a skeleton of a big blue whale. And they have baleen, and so all this stuff down here that looks like here, that's the real baleen. And the skeletons that are here in this museum, um, these animals were not killed. These animals died a natural death. They washed up onto the shore and um, that's how they, they got them here. This blue whale was washed ashore near Skaggy in 2010. Here we have a narwhal. Wow, long tusk. The narwhal whales are mainly found on the Atlantic side of the Arctic Ocean. This minke whale was found in 1997 on the Snaefalus Peninsula. Up over at Ornistapi. This here is the skeleton of a sperm whale, which is a toothed whale. So cool. The sperm whale is the largest of all toothed whales. It was found in 1997 near Rafarhofen town, which is where we were for the Arctic Henge. So it was found in that area. Pretty cool. Well, here we have a humpback whale calf. Down here we have a killer whale, so that would be an orca. There's its teeth. <laughs> wow, look at those teeth. This killer whale was found near Hofen in 2001 on the southeast coast. Here we have a Cuvier's beaked whale. It does look like a beak. This bottlenose whale was found on the south coast of the island back in 2002. Here we have a long-finned 
pilot whale. And you can see that that one is a toothed whale. There's its teeth. This one was found near Hofen on the east side of Iceland. This Sourbees beaked whale was found in Olafsvik in the Snæfellsjökull Peninsula in 1999. There are some other interesting exhibits here at the Whale Museum, but the star of the show is definitely the blue whale, the largest animal on earth. Gadafoss Waterfall is located in northern Iceland right along the Ring Road. It's in the shape of a semicircle and it's known as the Waterfall of the Gods. When Christianity came to Iceland in the 12th century, a civil war almost broke out because many people didn't want to give up the old Norse gods. A man named Thorkelsen settled the dispute which allowed the people to choose their religion. Then he took his own Norse gods, or idols, and threw them into the waterfall. And that is why this waterfall is named Gadafoss. To reach the Arctic Circle in Iceland, we took a three-hour ferry to Grimsey Island. And we hiked to the Orbis and saw thousands of puffins and incredible sea cliffs. The full video is linked at the end. Oh, how cool is that? Or these, these are goats. Look at all these goats! Graffer Kirkja is located in North Iceland on the Troll Peninsula near the village of Hofsås. We are heading out to this particular church right here that starts with G. And this is the oldest church in Iceland. And it is a turf covered church. Let's go! This is the oldest of about six remaining turf churches in Iceland. This is a small church that can seat about 30 people. Visitors are no longer allowed inside in order to preserve the church. There has been a church here since around the year 1240. However, the one here now dates back to the 1600s. In 1775, the King of Denmark deconsecrated the church and it was turned into a shed. But in 1950, the church was restored by the National Museum of Iceland to be preserved for generations to come. Which of these places would you like to visit? Please comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you in the next one.